summer rain on the window. Watch the time float on. Cool air blows a memento as I fall behind. What's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new and I would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around. It is currently 3.10 in the morning on Monday and we are all packed up and about to head to the airport because we are going on our honeymoon. I am so excited. It's also the first time I'm ever going to the beach. So we're spending the next five days in Rosemary Beach slash Alice Beach slash 30A. I don't know. Seaside, Florida, I guess. I'm so excited. It's my first time seeing the beach. I can't believe I've lived for 26 years and I've never been to the beach. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. We did not sleep at all last night. We maybe slept like an hour and a half <laughs> top. So we're both really tired and probably gonna sleep on the plane. Hopefully I'm the worst airplane sleeper ever though, but we are planning to head out. We're ahead of schedule actually. We wanted to leave by 3.30 because our flight is at six and boarding closes like right before 5.30. So super duper excited to take you guys along with me for not only my first beach vacation, but also our first trip as a married couple. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip and what we do and the food we eat and just like a relaxing kind of beach vacation. We've been looking forward to this for months and we're so excited that it actually panned now so i'm gonna take you guys along with me for our honeymoon and my first ever beach vacation so let's just go ahead and get into it be sure to subscribe if you haven't already also if i'm not making any sense i'm sorry i didn't sleep at all it's a miracle that we are even packed and ready for this trip but i love you guys and let's just go ahead and get into the video
Hi guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning now. I did not really vlog much yesterday at all after I left. I just got like little clips on my phone. We are in Florida now. I don't know what time it is. It is 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning and yeah, we're in Florida. I'm posting this after we leave so I can tell you where we're staying, but it's just a little like boutique hotel, I think. And it's called the Lodge 30A at Greenway Station. I'm not familiar with Florida or like the surrounding areas really, but it's in where people call like Seagrove Beach and near like, I think it's Santa Rosa Beach. It's near like Rosemary and um, like Alice Beach. It's just in like the 30A area. I'm not familiar with the area, but it's the Lodge 30A Greenway Station. It's just big enough for the two of us. It has a little kitchen and a bathroom. That's really all we need. It is in walking distance of so many cute like little shops. Like there's a free people right across the street. There's like a cafe, a coffee place, ice cream place, just so many cute things. So I was planning on vlogging the whole day yesterday, but I kind of just didn't have a good day. Well, I shouldn't say that, but I just wasn't feeling the best because my contacts have really been bothering me. They started bothering me a few days before we left and I just constantly had like itching and burning eyes. So I was taking like eye drops and whatnot. And I was just like, okay, it's just allergies, but they were burning so much yesterday that my eyes were in pain and it's only like one eye and I obviously didn't have time to go to the eye doctor or anything but I wear contacts pretty much like 24 7 I only take them out to sleep and I just haven't worn glasses in a long time but I do have a pair of eyeglasses that I brought with me but I think the prescription is just so off on them or something because they're like blurry and kind of like a prismy kind of filter and so they were not helping at all so I kind of spent the whole day blind yesterday i literally have such bad vision so i was just kind of in a bad mood because it was just hard to enjoy anything else because when my contacts are out like my vision is blurry like i'm squinting i'm getting a headache and it just is not good so i opened a fresh pair for today even though that other pair that was bothering me was literally brand spanking new and i they were clean so i opened a fresh pair today my eyes are still kind of burning at least my left eye but we're gonna step outside and see what happened. I bought some more eye drops yesterday that are like for severe, like dry and itchy eyes. So we'll see if those work. They did the trick last night, but I didn't have my contacts in and I feel like my contacts have been the main issue. We are loving Florida so far. I saw the beach for the first time yesterday and it was just so beautiful and the sand is so white and so soft. And I don't know if that's like every area in Florida, but I heard that like 30A has the prettiest beaches in Florida. So I don't even think we're staying in the area that has the clearest water. So we definitely need sleep. Like we were both running on like like zero sleep very very much needed rest last night but we're gonna explore the area today a little bit and kind of just have like a little touristy day in like the rosemary alice beach kind of area there's not a lot of like public beach access in this area of 30a so i guess if you're wanting to come here that's the one thing i would say is there's not a lot of public parking or public beach access so if you want to stay at like an airbnb or something like that that's the most like popular thing here there's not many hotels that's a really popular thing is people get vacation rentals on like airbnb or verbo and then they have access to like golf carts and bikes and like private beach access and then if you drive here get a rental car they have parking so that's probably what i would recommend but we got such a good deal on this place and we're kind of like honeymooning on a budget so we don't really mind that we have to go out of our way to find like a public beach access because a beach is a beach so yeah i'm having a lot of fun and i think i need a beach house because i want to like come here every summer for like an extended period of time and just go read on the beach speaking of reading i have not read anything my eyes were just too irritated yesterday to even think of picking up a book but i brought five books on vacation thinking i was gonna read them all but i think i'm gonna start love unwritten today in the car ride and and try and like read that one because that's the one i've been putting off the most and most excited to read so we ate at this place called angelina's last night and it was just not very good so i wouldn't recommend i don't know if like everywhere here is just like overhyped because there's not like many restaurants but hopefully the food we have later will be good but yeah i'm just going to try and find a place for us to eat I'll take you guys along with me today hopefully fingers crossed everything works out <laughs>
Right now the angle's down at us. Yeah. You don't want it like straight at us. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> I, what? <laughs> what do you mean? What? <laughs> this? Fluttering. You think this is more flat? No. Okay. You can always <clears throat> turn it a little bit, can't you? In editing? Not really. Okay. I'm not a genius. Our trip? Okay. So, guys, it's been a week since we got back. A little over a week. Almost two weeks. <clears throat> well, like a week and a half since we got back. And I had fun. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. So it was kind of like... A nice little beach trip. Prince. <laughs> if he's not the center of attention, he gets kind of mad. <laughs> but we went to... Where did we go? 30A or Seaside yeah, Florida. Yeah, 30A or like Seaside Florida. So like Rosemary Beach. Alice Beach, Seaside, where we were staying, it was like Walton, South, like Wal Walton, Fort Walton Beach. Fort Walton Beach, maybe. I don't know. Let me see where all the shark attacks were. Uh, <laughs> so, 
What we're gonna do right now is like a little honeymoon recap. We're just gonna talk about, I don't know who I saw do this, but it's called like your rose, your bud, and your thorn. So basically the rose is something that you love. So like your favorite part of the trip. And obviously that can be more than like one thing. So you can have a bouquet of roses. <laughs> your bud is like what you're looking forward to next time. So like, yeah, your butt is like what you're looking forward to next time or just looking forward to in the future, I guess. And then your thorn is like what didn't go so well on the trip or like what your least favorite part was. So I've given him today to like, like think about this. I didn't think about so, it at all. So. <laughs> neither have I, but okay, you're gonna go first. No, you go first. No, what was your rose? Just being there with you. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you can't turn this channel. It's a family friendly channel, no. Missy. This is a family show. Uh my rose. Just the time that we went. Prince, stop. What do you mean? Just because we saw the videos of people going before and it was completely packed. Oh and yeah. And like we went just at the right time because there was no one so we could actually walk places and had space yeah. on the beach. And so everything. we went August 26th through the 30th and apparently 30 days is like a huge vacation spot for people in like the south and probably all over the country as well just because it's like a cute quaint little beach town but we went the 26th or the 30th which was right before labor day and the day that we left we just saw a bunch of like traffic coming in and then we talked to like this guy at one of the shops i think where we got my seaside shirt which <laughs> so comfy and he talked about like how people are like packed in like sardines throughout the summer so if we go again next year which we're planning on it we want to go for longer next year and probably get a beach house but it like that time was pretty good because I think school had already started and everything like that. My rose was just in general the beach. I had never seen the beach before, which I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog. It was literally amazing. Literally amazing. <laughs> I just want to live at the beach now or like go all the time. The sand was like so white and the water was so clear, which I don't even think that's like the whitest sand or the clearest water like in all the areas of Florida, but I've heard that like those beaches are some of the prettiest. So definitely seeing the beach for the first time was like my favorite thing. Yeah, I kind of thought you would say then because yeah. it was your first time seeing the beach. It was so beautiful. And obviously our first trip was husband and wife. That was so fun. And yeah. like the flights, which one of my thorns you'll hear in a second, <laughs> but like the flights are there, like super short travel day, honestly, like, like the flights yeah. are just like super short because we had to fly from Kansas City to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and then Atlanta to Fort Walton Beach. So it wasn't that bad, like the flights were super short. Do you have any other roses? I mean, just the basic stuff. We got pretty lucky with the weather too, although it did rain. It didn't rain a lot, we, but. At least the first couple of days. Rosemary Beach was nice. Mm -hmm. um, seaside, Seaside was, was it the right place called Seaside? Mm -hmm. Seaside was nice. Um, Pub sub good <laughs> public sandwiches yeah they were all right which i guess brings me into my first thorn all right i have a bone to pick with florida our first at thorn. least the area that we were in florida what the heck is up with the food there i think maybe because it's such a touristy area that everywhere is so overhyped but the food was not good whatsoever and i don't have a and problem saying that but yeah obviously it's expensive because it it's like kind of like a touristy vacation spot but like i would have been okay with paying that much money if the food was actually good but nothing we ate i was like oh my god this is amazing the best food that we had was the pub sub and then when we went to panama city beach we ate at kava Kava is a chain that we have here in Kansas City that we eat at all the time. So it's like, like his parents were literally like, you went all the way to Florida and you ate at Kava? Like, it's all but that it was we the only get, food really. because all the food was just not good. Like the first night we ate at a place called Angeline's or Angelina's. Was that the first night? You're gonna call them out like that? I am, I already talked about it. But pizza, it was like literally like $60 for a greasy pizza that had no flavor. It was so bad. Their Caesar salad was a disgrace. Okay, it wasn't <laughs> bad. They just didn't make the dressing. It was their, broken, so their that's why. Their bread, but. like their breadsticks were not good either. So just the food, not good. We did have a place called Pecan Jack's. It was an ice cream place that was right next to our hotel. And it was really good. But that's like my biggest thorn is none of the food was good. We had burgers that weren't like seasoned at all. And then we ate at this place called Friends 38. But their milkshake was amazing. And we went back like the second night and the girl literally remembered Sid's name. She was like, for Sid, right? 
And I was like, we're from Kansas and this is like one of the best milkshakes we've ever had. Which is kind of sad that like the only thing that we took out of the trip like food wise Some was a milkshake. That was like my biggest thorn because I literally mentioned in the clip where I introed this vlog how we were about to go to the airport and I was just gonna film like a chill little beach vlog and show you guys all the good food that we eat. That backfired straight in my face because I just none of the food was good. So let us know for next time if we need to maybe like drive a little bit farther into like Miramar Beach or like Destin to eat good food. But I feel like everything was just kind of like Average. overpriced and overhyped there. And I feel like I've gotten better food like here. So I'm like, every time I've been on a trip, I've had pretty good food, but this time was just like, and we're like foodies, like big foodies. That's like one of our favorite things to do together is go out to eat and try new restaurants and try new things. So like, that was what I was looking forward to the most, like literally had budgeted money to eat out and like yeah. none of the food was good. We did get Friends 30A, which was one of my other favorite things. It, even though the food wasn't good, on Wednesday night, I think it was, which I didn't vlog at all, but we went to the beach at night and had like a little picnic on the beach and it was nice because it was a little scary because like there's no lights on the water and it's like terrifying looking into the deep blue sea oh, yeah. at night. But there was other people who had paid to have like bonfires on the beach. Everything was kind of lit up by like those people who had the bonfires and like the tiki torches on the beach. So that was like a really nice fun thing. That was also another rose, but yeah, my biggest thorn was the food. What would you say? Food definitely won. Granted, we didn't eat at like any of the nice, nice restaurants. Yeah, we didn't eat at any of like the steakhouses or anything sure like that. Been but, good, but we also had pliables, which was pretty good. You had like the Nutella. Oh, the pliable place was good. That yeah. was really good. Was but rosemary. it was like forty dollars for two bowls, yeah, which which was crazy. Is insane. Which I know Aussie bowls are um, just expensive, but Destin. When we drove through Destin, they had some pretty. It looked like they had a lot of restaurants to choose yeah. from. So. Maybe that is we also the, went to go see two movies at AMC, which was super fun. While we were there, we went to the Destin Commons, like AMC, and we saw Twisters and Deadpool. Otherwise, I would say just the whole parking situation for public access to the beach was a little restricted. You really have to like search for it. Yeah, I kind um, of mentioned that earlier. Unless you're we walking. But, at the hotel, but that was like the yeah. only hotel that I saw like in that area. And that so most of the place, it's like see. vacation rentals where you do have access to the beach, which that's a lot more expensive. Like we got such a good, what, how much was it for like a week to stay at this hotel, like five days? Originally it was about 730 something dollars. And then we cut down one day and it was 430 dollars. Yeah, so for dollars. five days, we only spent $400 to stay, which you wouldn't even get an Airbnb probably for $400 a night in that area on the beach. That was like what was worth it to me because it was just a short drive, but you're not guaranteed parking, but also you can rent a bike and, and yeah, you can, you there's golf cart bikes, places. So it's like course. also just walk like if you want to, but I did not want to walk in my flip flops. Let me know your good flip flop recommendations for the beach that are comfortable because my little target. I told her to get slides, which would be more comfortable to walk in, but she didn't listen to me. She wanted flip flops. So, so yeah, but if you are willing to spend a lot more money, obviously there's going to be like places where you can stay that has all the amenities for like the private beach and the golf carts. But like if you're on a budget like we were, there's ways to make it fun too. And like yeah. that's just a small price to pay for not having like pub like private beach access, you know? I mean for $400 and then our rental car was like 100 something because we had like Expedia had cash a, to use. So. We booked the hotel through Expedia and they gave mm -hmm. us a 70% discount on renting a car through Expedia as well. Yeah. So we got a really good deal on a car. So for future, if anyone's going, think about Expedia. Sponsor us Expedia. <laughs> yeah, sponsor us. That was a really good deal. And, and the hotel was clean. Hotel we was did fine. have like this crazy like narcissistic guy who was next to us who was like fighting with this girlfriend. So Sydney, uh, if you're watching this and your boyfriend was staying, <laughs> the lodge 30a from august 26th to 30th or whenever he was crazy and i hope you dump his ass but <laughs> i had literally like my ear up to the wall because he was like fighting with this girl but another thorn which we kind of made light of was our flight was delayed and then ultimately canceled on friday so we were supposed to be back late on friday evening but we got to the airport at which i probably shouldn't have scheduled a flight that late anyway to begin with our flight was at like 8 p.m out of florida and then that atlanta i don't even want to talk about the connections in atlanta so we're not going to do that again we're going to figure something else out next time we do that if there were more flights coming earlier in the morning like it would have been fine but because the first flight was coming in at 10 a.m the next day that's why we got basically kind of screwed anyway our flight just kept getting delayed <coughs> and we had been at the airport since like 5 30 or 6 o'clock and our flight was at 8 it's a very small airport 
everything shuts down at this airport at like eight or nine o'clock. And so like, if you leave, like there's no, like you can't come back until the next morning. So basically our only option was to get on our flight to Atlanta once it got there. And then Delta was just gonna put us on the next available flight to KC. So basically that kind of sucked. The gate agents were phenomenal. Like they were, I'd never seen such nice like airport workers before ever. So yep, I forgot nice. their names. I think maybe Diane or uh, Joanne, and then I forgot that. the guy's name, but at the Fort Walton Beach Airport, they were so nice, yeah. Delta agents. And they gave us a hotel and food voucher yeah, real quick. so they did, and then asking, so it was nice very stressful getting to Atlanta Airport though. Didn't know if our like, like luggage was gonna, like we had to pick it up or whatever. So that was nice that we didn't have to check our bags again, that they just put it on yeah. our next flight. But like, just so stressful, the travel, like the, airport like hotel shuttles as well like scammy it felt like almost it did seem so we did get a hotel but we didn't even check into the hotel we booked it was another hotel because they're all owned by the same people yeah it was so we luckily it was a lot. got there in time and to get a room we barely made it in time through security to make our flight okay, I feel she's like. Exaggerating a little bit. We made it with enough time, but we didn't we forgot that was Labor Day weekend So yes, we probably should have got a little busy. earlier Atlanta but airports kind of although their food prices were very decent We did not eat, end up eating at the airport So this is a hot tip if you miss your flight or not miss your flight But if Delta cancels your flight and they give you a meal voucher, you don't have to use it at the airport so what we did was they gave us $12.50 each or $12 each, which still not enough, but I'll take it. <laughs> so Sid actually loaded both of those cards into his Chick-fil-A wallet. And so it ended up, we had $24 in Chick-fil-A. So when we got home, like in the morning on Saturday, we just, just went and we got Chick-fil-A. Chick so that was nice. So you don't have to use it at the airport. You do have to utilize it on like food or dining on the day that it's issued. So like you have to use it by like 11, 59 PM or whatever, but you don't have to use it at the airport. So that's kind of like a hot tip, I guess. Well, first try to load it into an app that you want to use and see yeah. if it works. Do that first. Before you leave the airport. Otherwise you're just going to lose all that money. Yeah. Luckily it did work in the Chick-fil-A app and I think it works in the Starbucks, Starbucks app. So, so that was nice. Double check that. But but. I'd had a flight delayed like really bad, like while I was in the plane, like on the tarmac when my mm -hmm. little sister and I went to London last year. So we were literally on the runway for like four and a half hours. So I guess it was nice that we weren't in the plane, but like that was the only time I'd ever really had like a bad, except for when we went to New York in 2022 and we, got COVID and that flight was like awful because we were so flight, yeah. sick and we didn't know that we were like had we just thought it was like exhaustion from like New York City life yeah but it like was, that was, was awful and then the drive home which that's also a rose or I guess a bud now yeah. that we live in Kansas City like we have an airport fly. like 30 minutes away from us and it's a really nice airport an international airport and we can go anywhere that we want to go because before we had to make like hotel arrangements and like travel arrangements to like even get here to go to the airport so I, that's like a bud for me like I'm looking forward to that so much any more thorns or like buds for you thorns yeah I got something to say about Fort Walton Beach Airport <laughs> what? first of all there's no food in there in terms of like oh, yeah. places. Okay, it's like a Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. So that's fine, which I didn't want Dunkin' Donuts. I thought there was gonna be something oh, else. Oh, the price. The price. <laughs> I got a little box of six pinwheels. Like literally these little, tiny like, ass this big. Pinwheels. It cost me $18. Are you kidding me? What did you get? You got? I got a little bag of goldfish and a little bag of Chips Ahoy. It was like 20, in a water, and it was like yeah, 27 20 bucks. 20-something, yeah. $27. So, I get it. It's all marketplace, whatever. They can charge Just whatever they want. Just get food before you go to the airport. Get food before you go to the airport, whatever you want. Stop at Publix. And then it. have a refillable water bottle. Make sure you empty it before you go through security, but then fill your water. It's not worth buying it over there. It's way too expensive. Also, another huge travel tip is we're dumb and we didn't have any cash on us and we didn't realize that obviously we're so dumb. Yeah. That we was got to Destin and we so didn't realize where we were going had tolls. Like we literally went into this trip so blind, you guys. Didn't have any cash on us, so we had to go to Walgreens. CVS or Walgreens and <laughs> could do like the, the cash cashback back. option because our debit cards were not accepted at the ATM that was there. So that's also Obviously, anyone who's smart enough would know. Travel with a little bit of cash, not a lot, but- Always have cash um, on you. In your always order. have a little bit of cash on you, or just know that you're gonna have a debit card that works at like most ATM. We were so stressed out. It was so bad, but anyway. And then another bud for me is just looking forward to going back. Like, I think I fell in love with like that area. Now knowing like that the food kind of sucks, I think maybe we'll try a different beach as well. I really want to go to like 
um, Malibu, like San Diego, maybe. or just like. Oh, like that. Way. Okay. But I also I also do want to go back to that area because I loved it. I did start my period on the trip. I wasn't scheduled to start until Friday when we left, but I started on Wednesday, so that kind of sucked because we were gonna go on like an excursion, like we were gonna go on a boat and like a dolphin tour. So this boat, you go out for like three hours and you get to like, you stop and you go like snorkeling and you get to hunt for like seashells on like Shell Island or whatever in Panama City Beach or something. Like and the then, dolphins. and then that like swim and like go see the dolphins, which is something that was on my bucket list. But we're gonna do that next time. Yeah. On the drive and we did see a couple dolphins like just like quickly jump through the water. But other than that, other than like a jellyfish and the one dolphin, we didn't see any like. We saw a ton of jellyfish. Yeah, a lot of jellyfish. Yeah, I think we had a lot of fun. We did not really plan. We kind of have a habit of doing this. Like we'll plan how we're gonna get there and like plan where we're staying. But like other than that, we don't really plan anything. And that's kind of what I like about us is we're like a little bit spontaneous. But this was also just like, I would have just say anticipated we'd be on the beach pretty much all the time. So there's really nothing to yeah, plan. Yeah, so that kind of sucked when I started my period. We couldn't really go to the beach as much as I wanted to. In the last three days it rained. It rained like, so much. So at least we got days. our beach day in on like Tuesday and like Wednesday morning. Yeah. But it was very fun. I had so much fun. I had so much fun too. And let us know if you guys want us to like travel vlog together. <laughs> I have. I'm not going to say it because someone's gonna steal it but i have a name for if sid and i start like an instagram or a tiktok travel account so let me know your ideas for our travel account down below now we're just gonna work really hard because hopefully we can go to new york i really want to go to new york sometime in the next year again as well maybe not during the holidays because you know i love new york during the holidays it's so festive but that is like prime tourist season in new york city but i want to go and maybe do like a little bookish kind of trip to New York City in the next like year where we go to like bookstores and then we have to eat at we. our favorite restaurant. Yes, we, we, us. And we have to <laughs> eat at our favorite restaurant. And Sid is really into like Funkos, if you guys didn't know. Well, I wouldn't say really into Funkos. Like he's not like crazy or anything, but he does collect them. And yeah, we yeah. want to go to like, maybe not like a comic con situation, maybe not to that extent, but like, a place that has like, like a big like a Funko a store. store. So I know San Diego, isn't that where it has one? See the San Diego, Florida. Or like Hollywood. One of the two. I'm I don't sure, know. But, but anyway, so we want to do that. And then next year we're hoping to go on a cruise with Sid's parents. So that would kind of be like honeymoon number two is going on a cruise with Sid's parents. Um, like a Mediterranean cruise like Greece, Italy. So that's the main trip. So that's like if our main. If we can main... afford a second trip to New York, then yes, that's we can do that. That's our main goal. But. but... Let me know what are good like budget travel destinations because I have the itch. I have a tr I've have always loved traveling, but I haven't gotten to travel much until my adult years. And the fact that I've gotten to go on like two trips a year for the last like yeah, two years is pretty lucky. exciting because that's like more trips than I've ever been on in my whole life. So, but yeah, that is yeah. our little honeymoon recap, rosebud and thorn section. It was <laughs> so fun. It was really fun. I love you. I love you too. Subscribe if you're new, like and comment down below. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when she posts next. <laughs> Follow me over <laughs> on all of my socials, my Instagram, my TikTok, all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. Let me know if you want to sit in more videos. Hopefully he's gonna be choosing my TBR soon. I don't know if that video is gonna be for probably October because we're pretty far into September already. October. I love you guys. Sid loves you. I love you guys too. <laughs> Subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Hi. Hi. He's so mad right now. Damn how naughty you are. One well, mom and dad tried to film a video. Do you want a snack? Do you want a snack? <laughs> okay, bye guys.